Hey y'all, Joe here with Southern Coastal Cooking again, and I've got a surprise again for you today. We're going to revisit the steak age. You remember we made that wonderful whole prime rib. Now we're going to do a whole strip loin. Look at this, y'all. This is absolutely magnificent. From the poor butcher, this makes the, uh, pervades the finest meats in all the land around here. Wagyu cattle that his father raises. Just wonderful Wagyu beef. Right here, this is a strip loin. It's about 13 inches long. We cut it just so it fit in my ager. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do it, fat cap up in the ager. So we'll flip it over right like this. And we'll age it just like that, okay? And we'll scoot it back a little bit just so it fits just perfectly. And I'm gonna show you, I took some, uh, some kosher, not kosher, I took some uh, Himalayan pink salt Busted it up, see, and put it here in this bag. We'll put that on a plate right here, and we'll get that in the steak ager. Let me show y'all over here. We we'll just set that right there in the steak ager, and that's what we'll use uh, for basically to help us draw the moisture out. Now, what I want to do is I want to put this shelf in. If I can pick it up here, and uh, we'll put it right in the ager. Use the top shelf, okay? Go ahead and just slide that on in there. Okay, whoop. If I can do it without, uh, it's not one to catch on that last little piece. Okay, there we go. Now we got them in there, and I will put the, uh, the glass back on. Let me scoot you back a little bit so you can see what's going on. Put the glass in. Just like that. Probably has to scoot back just a little bit more. The shelf does. There we go. Put the glass in just like that. And we'll carry it out to uh, out to the refrigerator that I got out there. Set it about uh, 32, 33 degrees is optimal temperature. But anyway, it'll take me a second to get this glass on. Kind of pushing. It's got a little track there for it to go in. It's just kind of hard to do. This is plexiglass. Push that down in there just like that. Okay, we'll put this out in the refrigerator. All right, y'all. So now I got it set up out here in the refrigerator. Show y'all. It's rolling right there. It's running. You can hear it running. Got the black light going. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. The UV light in there. But uh, everything's good to go, y'all. All right, y'all, it has been 28 days, and the Flora Butcher Wagyu Strip is done here in the Steak Ager. I can't wait to try it. We're going to break all this down, get this out, and slice him up. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and let's cut this beauty up. i show you here. I can twist this thing get you down. Uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I took some stills, and you can look at the edge. It is, it is well, you know, dried here. Dried so what we're going to do, Bye. first off, I'm going to cut the edge Bye. off just a little bit. Bye. And what we're going to do that for is, uh, this will Bye. help us Bye. gauge how thick the steaks have to be once I cut the rind off, basically. Okay. All right, so look at that. We've got the beautiful dry aged beef right in there. Right past that rind, the dried out part there. That's all dry. So I'm gonna cut the first steak. I wanna do about an inch and a half. So I've actually got a little measuring tape here. Let's see. About an inch, that's about two inches. Half is about right there, so that's about an inch and a half. Just do push it straight down, just like this. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous right there, y'all. That, that is that is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the, the rest of these. Like I said, measuring as I go along. 
at about an inch and a half to two inches thick. I think two inches would be about, about right where you want to be. So we can go ahead and do that. Oh man, best way to do it. I think it's, and this fat is so just buttery. It's just, it's amazing to stay. Alright, look at that one right there. The wonderful fat cap and everything on there. We'll use that as kind of a measure. And the next one. Go ahead and just make a mark right there. Alright, now go ahead and get the rest of these cut. Get these cut up and I'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, now that I got the steaks sliced up like this, what I'm gonna do is take them and just take the uh, helical off. And I should say that will make some wonderful stock and stuff like that. So it's easier to do if you just do it by steak. Look, you just run down the steak like this, a sharp knife, and just uh, take that dried piece off. Okay. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm getting that right here. See that? And that just works out beautifully. So you have a nice steak. And I'm going to take some of this fat cap off. The dry part. You'll leave a little bit, but take most of the top piece of the fat cap off. The tallow here. Look at that. That's what we're left with. That just gorgeous New York strip right there. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. Probably. Let's see. Man, those, those are nice. So go ahead and get these done. All right, y'all. So here are the steaks. Look how gorgeous they are cut up. I'm going to vacuum seal some for freezing. And a uh, couple we're going to go ahead and cook right now. But look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. The uh, Wagyu beef dry aged in the steak ager. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all, I'm going to season these steaks just a little bit with some of this uh, Sure Shot Sids. Some of the best steak seasoning I know. Uh, you don't want to season much on these, these beauties because they really just don't need it, y'all. But uh, put a little bit of that on there, Sure Shot Sids. Oh, yes, sir, look at that. It's that one actually nicks with the knife. And uh, so get that on both sides. About like that. I'm going to take a bag here, a souvé bag. We'll sit open. I can get both these in one bag and work just fine. Just like this. Hope you all can see here. I don't know. And uh, there we go. Get that. Just like that. See them have them laying right there in this bag. And then we'll vacuum seal them just like this. Put a couple pats of butter on top though. All right, I've got a sous vide bath going about 127 degrees. That's what I'm gonna put these steaks in here. That's what we're gonna use them. Let them cook for about an hour. Just plop them off over in here. Oh yes, sir. Look at that. That'll be real good. I'll set my timer and let them go, y'all. All right, y'all. So the steaks have been cooking here for about an hour at uh, 127. Go ahead and get them out. Whew, my bath there. And we'll cut them open right here. And we're going to bring them outside for a really hot sear, okay? So we're going to cut them open. Dry, pat them dry. There we go with this. Oh, yeah. Don't look so beautiful now, but they will. Let me get them out in the grill, okay? What you want to do is just see, just pat the butter. Excess. Water, water, not water, but you know, the stuff off of them. You now they've cooked just about to perfect rare, medium rare. At this point, I'm going to put a little bit more seasoning on them. Let's see, where did my seasoning go? Oh. Let me find a seasoning. Oh, I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit of this. Uh, I'm not sure shots, I'm not sure shots, but St. Elmo's Steakhouse. That'll be fine. A little bit of that on there. Okay. 
like I said, they're going to look much, much better. How tender they are. Get out in the grill and just finish this off. I'm going to chalk up my barrel house cook right here, set up with the, the bottom on the top. Actually, this is just for searing. And uh, it's a great little deal. I've used this before to sear some steaks. So it's another little versatility of the barrel house cooker. We're using all kinds of cookers here in this, this video. Let me get y'all tuned in here so you can see what's going on. I'm go ahead and put these dudes down. Tell you what, first I'm going to sear is the fat side. If I can, just get that fat seared there for a second. Because that needs to be a little sear. Put them side by side right there over that. That lump, jumbo, not lump, that uh, there we go. We'll sear that for about 30 seconds. But be careful, you know, the flare ups. Let me see, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my timer on. Oh, shoot, I'm better watch out. That's a little too more, more flare up than I'd like to see. So, I'm just saying, let that cool down just for a second there. Yeah, that fat, I mean, really wanted to melt off of there. But all this is basically going to take about 30 seconds to side. As soon as this... To burn down just for a second. I just need to sear these steaks, really. Just, that's all you're doing is you're getting that, that mallard reaction on there and that good sear. So we're we'll gonna go about 30 seconds. Heck with the burning like that. Do that on this side. Now flip them. I'm almost keeping y'all real time here. But that's uh kind of how we got to do here. 15, 16. You see that fat just cooking up nicely there on the on the on the side. It's really, really good. Well, that was 30 seconds on that side. Oh. And then off of here. Alright, let that fire down, die down just for a second. So this thing, you know, dripping this grease and stuff like that. I mean, these steaks have so much, uh, you know, you know, just just the marbling and everything that uh, you get all this thing. That's why I like to cook them sauve method there for a while. So let's set them over here. And let them go another thirty seconds on this side. You're getting a wonderful sear. I mean, I'm watching them, but I don't want to let them burn, no matter what. What we're doing here, like I said, is just getting the, the perfect little sear with the steaks. Want to make sure we sear that fat on the outside and everything else. I think it's less flare up there on the outside. perfect oh yes sir I'm right, gonna go ahead and take them off now got that sear on both sides there that's what we were looking for oh yeah I know it looks like they were burning I'll bring you inside here quick I want y'all to see see y'all they weren't burning we got a perfect good sear on there let me show you the other side really really nice not burning at all that's beautiful right there. So uh, really, really good sear. We're about to cut into them here in just a minute. All right, y'all. Let's put this ultimate dish together. Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. Y'all just wait and see what I got here. All right, so got a dish here. Let's go ahead with our wonderful New York strips. Oh yes, sir. I mean, these things are just so gorgeous. So now with that perfect. Just uh, just char to them right there on the outside. Uh, 28 day dry aged strip from the from the floor butcher, finest meats in all the land for sure. What can we uh, what can we do with this? Let's go ahead and let's side it with a baked potato, nice baked potato here. Uh, what else? Uh, maybe some 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 
sauteed mushrooms, a little balsamic reduction here. It'll be nice just kind of scatter these amongst the plate here. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yes, sir. Yeah, just, just put these mushrooms, just get them in there. These are uh, some uh, some really good mushrooms. These are portobellos, baby bellows. Right there, maybe we can even use a little bit of this sauce there. It's a little balsamic reduction. Oh, that's beautiful right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can get as much as we can. Right there on the plate. All right. Then what we want to do, what else can we do to top that off? How about some butter poached Maine lobster tails? Oh, yeah, babe. Right there. Look at that. Look at that. Steak and lobster right there with the finest meats and all the lamb. That's gorgeous. We got to give this a taste. Let's just cut into the steak here. Of course, that's the all-star of the whole dish. Whoa, well, look at that. Through and through, the perfect, I call this rare plus. That's how I eat my steak, y'all. It's a little bit more than rare. Let me go ahead and just cut a nice little piece off here. First bite. What about that, y'all? Look at the color. Oh, my gosh. We give it a taste. 28-day dry, dry age. Wagyu beef from the floor butcher. Mm, steak ager smells wonderful. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic, y'all! That is like no other steak I've ever tasted. It's a deep, nutty-like flavor, just awesome. Oh my gosh, y'all! That is fabulous. Let's try a little bit of lobster tail. Let's just say we did here on the camera. You know it's going to be good. Go ahead. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All that butter poach and the souvé. I did that. And then I transferred to put out there on the grill. I'm going to put that on the camera with some of these mushrooms. Oh yeah, good stuff, y'all. Um, and we, we we gotta we gotta do this more often, man. It's wagyu beef. This is good stuff. So uh, anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Tune in the channel. I appreciate everything. And uh, y'all, please uh, like my videos, sub my channel. God bless y'all. You know, I gotta get to this dinner. Can't let this one go to waste. Oh yeah, by the way, I have some of these cups coming here pretty soon to y'all. So cheers.